It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Welcome to The Sam LaSant Show, folks. Let me ask you a question, my friends. Um, how many of you have worked uh, 20, 30 years, even 40 years, and you worked as hard as you could, no matter what profession you, profession you were in, a laborer, a technician, a plumber, whatever the case may be, you worked. You provide for your family and you had savings and some of you have retirement funds all right so now you come to a time in your life where you're saying well look you know i'd like to get something from that but you want to make sure they're secure your funds and you want to make sure that you're not putting all of the hard work that you've done throughout the years and someone's going to take advantage of it today's show is going to be very interesting i ask you to listen to it especially for those of you who have savings and you like to uh, make sure that your savings go a long way. Um, this is an interesting show. We're going to learn a lot about particularly annuities. Now, it's, it's, it's important, particularly if you have some savings. Um, no stranger to the Sam LaSancho. He's been on this show many, many times. Blaze A. Greco from um, grecobrokerage.com. Blaze, it's nice to see you again. Good to see you, Sam. You've been a busy man. Yes, very busy. The annuity business is, is crazy busy. You know, um, I'm going to be elementary today. I'm going to be as simple as I can. Yes. Because a lot of people have concerns, okay? The biggest factor in my life when I'm dealing with anyone has always been the trust factor, okay? Can I trust that person, all right? And then there's many ways you could go about finding how and why you should trust that person. So first of all, what does Greco bro Brokerage do? So, as I mentioned to you, and we've talked about this many a times, I go out and I shop product and price for clients. Uh, so, basically, with the annuity market, I'm in a position, in short, to answer that question. We're talking about annuities today. You know, I deal with four different brokerage firms throughout the country, along with individual contracts with other insurance companies. In short, I have every single company that's available. And all week long, I'm getting inundated with rates, and especially now because these rates have been higher than ever. Uh, and uh, guaranteed rates, I'm talking about with multi-year guaranteed annuities, which people are loving. So, I mean, uh, I'm going to tell you, I am an expert in annuities. I, I will say I'm an expert. There's few people that can know as much as I do and have done as much as I do and have the companies to offer. And the rates are incredible. It's a great time to be in annuities. You've stated a number of times that you that no one could beat your rates and offer all the companies that you can. You just alluded to that. Correct. Right? Okay. Now, you've been doing this for a while. Long time, way okay. back from the MetLife. And I remember time. one of the shows you were on, we had um, a number of testimonials that we read from people that are well known in the area. I received a call the other day, I was telling you, from a friend of mine, and she was concerned about you know investing, and she wanted to make sure that her money was secure and conservative. And, um, you know, who can I trust, okay? So that's an important factor, okay? So are annuities safe? Yes. Uh, I mean, when, when, you, when you say uh, safe, uh, they're backed by the good faith of the insurance companies. Uh, so, you know, when people talk about FDIC, they're big on that. Um, so, you know, I did a little more checking because we're told by the insurance companies, you know, they when they talk about the FDIC, there's something called the State Guarantee Association, uh, which is run by states individually rather than like the FDIC. So there actually is a safeguard in the event of an insolvency. But as I spoke to you, and I'm, I'd like to read this. Yeah, I'd like this to have, I think this is important. I, I'd like to have Sam put it up. It says, state guarantee associations protect annuity owners if the issuing insurance company becomes insolvent. The individual state regulate insurance companies and all 50 states, along with the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, have their own state guarantee associations. Most states have annuity coverage limits of $250,000. Now, the reason I say that uh, 
you know, they don't like us to, t to talk about it is because you, you never hear of a, an insurance company. They don't want to put that connotation out there, mm -hmm. that negative connotation. But I, I told you this a couple times on the show. I've seen acquisitions, mergers, takeovers. So just more recently, there was a company I marketed called Great American. People got a letter in the mail that they're, they're now being taken over by Mass Mutual. There was no problem. Great American was an A-rated company. Mass Mutual's like a double A-rated. So the point is, um, I, I don't think when it comes to a safety concern, uh, there, there's, a, there's a problem. I think, it's, I think people read into it. And, and I think that's always a concern. When you've been on the show a couple of times and, and some of the questions here will address to those people who ask me these questions. But it appears that sometimes people um, love annuities and yet others will say, I don't want to bother with an annuity. Could that be a lack of understanding? Yeah, I think that uh, I think the problem is uh, when you say I, I, I don't want to be bothered with annuity. I, I really do believe that it's a lack of understanding. I think that um, annuities are so broad based, and there's, they have so many bells and whistles, and, and 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 so for you to just take an annuity and paint it with a broad paintbrush and say you know uh, this is. Uh, you know, uh, these annuities, you know, maybe it's confusing and somebody doesn't understand it. The other thing I find out a lot, and I see this on uh, Facebook or I see it in advertisement, like beware of annuities, you know, or, uh, you, you know, get all the facts on an annuity. More often than not, it's, it's in fact, almost 100% of the time, it's, it's a brokerage firm or, or a gentleman who's making his money based on him, him having an, you having an account with him, and he's getting a percentage of that account, whether it's one, one and a half, two percent, sometimes more than two. Yeah, so so beware of annuities, you know, because you know you, you want to you want to put the money with you. So there's you got to you got to know all the facts. All right, are there annual fees or costs deducted from my account? Are there any fees or, or costs in the annuities that I sell? Which we missed the first part there. We might have missed it. There, so there's basically fixed indexed annuities. MIGAs, okay, so fixed index annuities are tied into an indice like the S&P 500, but in a fixed indexed annuity, you can't go below the floor of zero, so you could never lose money. You could only make money. We've discussed that. In a MIGA annuity, multi-year guaranteed annuity, is like a CD, it, to, to keep it simple, it's attached to an interest rate for a stated number of, peri a, a stated number of years. Now, in those products, no, there's absolutely no fees, at least with the ones I sell, there's no fees, there's no cost. If you're in a variable annuity, which I do not market, there is fees and cost. All right, so as we're learning the process about annuities, can someone gain access to their money? Yes. Okay, and how, how does that work? Well, I mean, so it all depends on, on the contract and what they have. Okay, so let me give you an example, okay? Let's assume there are people out there that have some money that they, they want to take advantage of these high rates, okay? Uh, and it's very conservative. So someone gives you, uh, let's say $100,000 that they've saved, worked for, as I alluded to at the beginning. You know, they, they worked hard for the money and they wanna make sure it's secured, okay. Uh, how can I get access to some of that money if I need it? Now I do have a fixed income coming in. I do have maybe some whatever other, social security or whatever. Uh, how could I get access to that $100,000? And let's say I take the, I, I fix it for five years, and it's at four, some per, four point whatever percent. All right, so let's, let's just use 5% to keep it simple. So you got $100,000 in 5%, you're earning 5% interest. So first of all, with most companies, some companies they, they still give you money starting the second year. Some companies will give you money. So let's just say in this case, you could take your interest. Okay, right. so that's 5% interest on 105,000 bucks. Now, with most of the companies, some is more, some is less, the average is you could take a 10% free withdrawal. So even though you gave the insurance company the money with the idea that you would be locked in for five years, you could take up to 10% of your account value each consecutive year. Okay. So now if you took, if you took $5,000 in interest yes. and, and now you just come along and say, well, I, you know, I need, I need, I need another 5,000 to equal the 10. You could take, so you could take 10. Right. Yeah. And then, so, the so, um, if I give you a hundred thousand dollars and I'm earning 5% interest, which is 5,000 every month I'm gaining, I'm making four and some dollars interest. Correct. Okay. Can I take that interest every month as part of my, uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So therefore, 
even though I've committed for four years or five years, I can get that 5% interest. So if I'm Social Security is $1,500 and I have another thing coming in for five, this four and the some dollars I could get every month. Exactly. Okay. The only thing I would say for full disclosure is that, you know, if people only have so much money and, you know, they're worried, that's a concern, then, you know, maybe the annuity product isn't right for them. I'm trying to break it down as to taking advantage of the money that's sitting there. People are making 1% or practically nothing with their money, or they have retirement funds or, you know, that they could cash in. Two other points I want to make. So Sam takes an annuity. God yeah. forbid, God forbid, God forbid, he passes away a year later. Yeah. The money could come to your wife if she wants. She could either continue to contract or take it. And she, she's not, no, no surrender charges, no fees. Okay. Also, if you're considered homebound or, term, or, or, or nursing homebound, you could cancel the contract. And finally, if there's a terminal illness, you could cancel the no contract. No fees. No fees. Zero okay. fees. Okay. So um, I've heard people say that annuities can't avoid probate. Is that true? Yeah, they can because, because very simply, an annuity has its stated beneficiary. So, you know, so many times I, I see cases where people come in and it's a nightmare. They have all this stuff and this, stocks, bonds, gold, this, it, it's all over the place. And, and, you know, so an annuity, like even without somebody having a will, it's, you know, Blaise Greco, beneficiary Roseanne Greco, contingent beneficiary Blaise Greco III or whomever, charity, whatever you want. You know, you die, you pull the contract out, you send in a death certificate and the contract to the insurance company and they send you a check. So that's why they say it avoids probate. Yeah. Now, whether you're going to sit down and discuss that with your lawyer, you're going, to, you know, you're going to probate a will or whatever, the point is it comes directly to you. Yeah. So when they say it avoids probate, that's, that's where they're, when they say they'll tax. And, and of course, you have the tax deferral. About, is that about favorable tax uh, treatment? Right, because, you know, if you compare it to a CD, you know, you're getting, you're not paying any tax. You're not getting anything in at the end of the year. It's all tax deferred. Now people say, well, eventually I got to pay. Yeah, the point is though, but your money's working for you all the time. Okay, so folks, I'm talking to Blaze Greco from uh, uh, Greco Brokerage. Phone number's on the screen. Remember, he's been on the show a number of times. And at one time we had a list of testimonials of people um, that you may or may not know. Um, the most important factor here is the trust factor. Uh, he would not be sitting on this show if he wasn't legitimate, I guarantee you that. We'll take a break, we'll be back after this. Welcome back to the Sam LaSanne Show, folks. Thanks for making the Sam LaSanne Show for the number one talk show in Northeastern Pennsylvania. That's taken from the scientific poll that was conducted by Susquehanna Polling and Research. They were voted the number one research, uh, polling company in the United States. My guest today is Blaze Greco from Greco Brokerage talking about your money. Give me some examples where annuities are applicable and can be used. Well, and, and are they safe? Well, of course, we went over that about the safety. Yeah. Uh, and I do believe they are. They're backed by the full fledge of the insurance companies. And you don't see, again, not to be redundant, you don't see problems. Uh, you, you're usually acquisitions, takeovers, and mergers, and they just go to another company. But where they can be used and what I'm doing a lot of, in addition to like, we're, we're kind of talking about a CD alternative, we're talking about somebody that has some extra money and wants to invest it and be conservative. And now with these MIGA rates, which we're gonna talk about, they're so high, so people are like jumping on these like crazy. But pension rollovers is a big, big part of my business. How does that so, work? Well, so, so somebody's retiring, they got a 401k, yeah. they're required to take the distribution, or they're concerned with the volatility of the market, or, or whatever, they want something conservative. Maybe that, you know, they don't have a lot of stuff, so they're concerned, they don't wanna, they don't wanna lose no money, they wanna be sure. I do a, a very amount of big business with pension rollovers, so that we do a direct transfer, transfer from institution to institution. So let's just say, for example, Prudential's managing that, that portfolio and we're moving it over to New York Life, just using that as an example, not saying they're the companies. And we do a direct transfer institution to institution and the money's now in an annuity. But there's a safety factor because, you know, there's, there's nowhere that they don't, they're not going to have the ups and downs. They're going to have, they're going to know. And it depends what they want to do. There's several kinds of annuities. As I keep saying, they're saying on your show, uh, you know, 
you can't paint it with a broad paintbrush. There's m so many kinds of annuities with income riders and joint income and, you know, and a nursing home, uh, 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 you know, bell and whistle for a nursing home. So you have to have a conversation and you can't say, well, annuities, I, I, heard, I heard good, I heard bad. You got to get the facts. Yeah, and that's where the most important thing is that you tailor make. Uh, you absolutely, know, yeah. you're, absolutely. So everyone has a different, how do you make your fees? I mean, how do you, how do you get paid? I'm paid by the insurance companies. That's why I said, and a lot of people say to me, you know, well, how, I, you're, there's no fees coming out of my account. No, I'm paid by the insurance company. Yeah. So I'm paid by them. And, and you know, you, I always tell people, if you give me 100,000, you're gonna see, you know, whatever the number is, you're gonna continue to see growth, depending on what type of product you're in. And back to, back to the pensions real quick. You know, there's something called a guaranteed income rider, which yeah. is a rider that you could put on an annuity. Now, there is a cost to it. It's usually around 1%. But that, for that 1%, okay, okay, they are guaranteeing you a check for the rest of your life, predetermined amount. And if something happens to you, they're guaranteeing your wife a check for the rest of her life. And if something happens to you both, then depending on how far the account was drained down, that's going to go to your beneficiary. And their interest factors... Oh yeah, there's interest factors. So generally, the interest overcomes the fee, but it doesn't matter because if the account balance reaches zero, yeah. I always use my grandmother as an example, 104, but let's forget that. Yeah. If anybody lives to even 85, 90, and they have a, a guaranteed income writer, they bet the insurance yeah. company. And speaking of in nursing homes and home care, do, do annuities offer chronic illness coverage for nursing homes or home care? Some do, some do. It's usually like a bell and whistle type thing on, on the product where they will, they will offer, uh, if somebody goes into a nursing home, they call it a doubler. Now, not in every single case, but there's some companies where, so if they were paying you $2,000 a month and they have to go into a nursing home, they'll pay you $4,000, up to a maximum of five years. And then it'll go back to the $2,000. But what it's nice for is sometimes if I'm sitting with, sitting with somebody and they're telling me their situation, a lot of people don't have nursing home coverage. It's a nice alternative because it's like, well, if I have to go, or they'll just keep that annuity for that purpose. They won't take anything. They'll keep it, because they could pass it on to their kids too if they don't touch it. They leave it there in case they'd have a problem. They know they could go into it and get money for the I, nursing home. Will the stock market fluctuations affect my annuity values? Not on the annuities that I market. Again, keep. I, I don't want to be redundant, but maybe it's good to keep hearing it. Fixed indexed annuity. So yeah, you're into like, you're following the S&P 500, but your money's not in the S&P. So, so no, it will not. And then what my is their guaranteed interest. The only annuity that will do that is a variable. A variable annuity is, is a security it, and it, 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 has, it has stocks and bonds in it. So it will. So as it. one starts to explore, uh, and you know, and on your show, they start exploring, uh, and some people may have two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars that you know in assets that they they want to invest. So they start getting, in, they want to get educated, as we're trying to do on this show, educate people. What the uh, when you're talking about an annuity, does it provide better value than a CD? Because when you're talking CD, you're talking bank, you're talking, you know, or whatever. All right, and you're talking about protection and all that stuff. So, and then we have an annuity. So, how do you compare the annuity versus the CD? Yeah, well, this comes up a lot. And now, of course, with the Feds raising the rates, they just raised it a quarter percent. So, CDs and, and MIGAs, multi year guaranteed annuities, which are guaranteed fixed interest, are continuing to rise slightly because we're not sure where the Fed's going. But to answer your question, so I'll, people will say to me, like, if say I say to somebody, well, I could get you, you know, five percent or five and a quarter. They're like, well, I could get four point eight zero at the bank, or I could get five. Let's say they say I could get five. You may get it. You're not getting it for five or six or seven years. As an example, I just had. It's probably a good time to, to state this right here. I just had a, a product, uh, ten years, uh, that was paying five point four five percent with an A-rated company. And I always say I won't mention carriers, I won't endorse any insurance company, because they I change them every week, whoever's the highest. But the point is, you might say, well, yeah, but somebody said, I don't want to invest my money. Maybe you don't, but maybe some people do. When's the last time you could tell me that you could get 5.45% for 10 years? Guaranteed, this is a guaranteed contract. This isn't 
pie, you know, this isn't like pie in the sky. We're hoping it's going to happen. It's going to happen. What's wrong with that for somebody that's older compared to having your money in a market? And what are you going to make? What do you, when it's all said and done, what did you really make in the market? Now, don't get me wrong. There's some good brokers out there, and I see some nice returns sometimes. But on average, what does the average guy make over a 10-year span? Yeah, well, the, the, here again, you're looking here, uh, if, if you're ambitious and you want to just, you know, go to the horse races or whatever, that's a different story. Right. nothing but, wrong but with We're it. looking at conservative protection, guaranteed. I, I don't want to play games now. I'm a, I worked 30, 40 years of my life. I want to make sure it's secure. If yeah. I say, look, Blaze, I saw you on the Sam LaSant show. Um, I have, I'm interested, but, you know, could you give me some people that I can call and how did you do with Blaze? Yeah, well, I'll answer that very boldly, plainly. Uh, here's the deal, to be very honest and blunt. Of course, I never, never talk about clients in front of somebody else. I may say, oh, I had this guy that did this or I have a person, but in, in general, I never, never will mention a client's name. If I need to, you know, if I need to and have to, I have permission. But the point is, I have people from, you know, a little old lady that I might have helped to multi-millionaires. I'm talking, I'm talking heavy duty people. I'm talking big time. Mm -hmm. And they're not in, all in Hazleton. I mean, I live in Florida now. I mean, you know, I, I have clients. But in, you spend a lot of time here as well. I do, when yeah. I have clients in Georgia. Yeah. But my point is that, you know, if it's a guy that has a super boatload of money and he's concerned and needs a referral, I'll give him a referral. I can give him a pretty big referral. I'm not saying that braggadociously. I'm, no, just, I'm just saying it's true. I mean, it's true. I've been in the life insurance industry. I have a lot of clients Please. with millions of dollars of insurance. Of course, they have money, and I have some of their investment portfolio. So, but, you know, I have, I have, I have, you know, yeah. a lot of. What I want to hear from somebody is, I'm the best. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean if, so they, if they, need, they need people's yeah. names, I'll give them people's that's, names it, with it, permission. Yeah. But the yeah. people yeah. will do it. But that's the point is, the point is that when you, when, it's like a doctor. Uh, doctor, you're going to operate on my heart. Well, he'll say, I, I think I could do that. You think? I want someone to say to me, I'm the best at it, Sam. I can do this, no problem, et cetera, et cetera, such as with my business, okay? We're second to none. Yeah. But however... It's always good to have that reference, okay? Um, that, you, you know what I'm trying to get at? I'm going to tell you right here now. I made this statement, and I, I make it unequivocally. I grow more and more confident every day. There is nobody, nobody, no brokerage, nobody that will touch me when it comes to the annuity market and or the life insurance for that matter. Mm -hmm. But right now with annuities, it's impossible. I told you, i got four major brokerage companies. So you're saying this is a good time to purchase annuities? This is the best time. Here, here. let's look at some of these rates. Now. Hold that. We're talking okay. about annuities. I'm taking a quick break. We'll be back with, uh, I told you this would be an educational show, my friend. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Sam LaSanne Show. Folks, it's about your money. I have Blaze Greco here from Greco Brokerage. If you um, just tuned in, uh, this is a very educational show. Uh, you know we're on all the time, YouTube, the website. You just Google us. When you're talking about rates, all right, you, you wanted to mention some more um, information we have here. Yeah, we talked about the, the MIGA rates right now are incredible. So real quick, I'm just going to run down this list. And you have the list, too. Yeah. I'd like you to see so you see these companies. Uh, we got a four-year rate, 5%, a five-year rate, 5.20, six-year, 5.20, a seven-year, 5.45, an eight-year, 5.45, a nine-year, 5.45, a 10-year, 5.25. Those are guaranteed rates for that period of time. No Never, fees. No fees. Nothing. Never seen rates this high in a long, long time. This reminds me of when I was a kid, the Jimmy Carter era. Yeah. I mean, sadly, inflation was terrible and all, but yeah. there was a lot of people took advantage of those CDs and stuff back then. Yeah. Yeah. Ten-year rate, beautiful. Uh, let me tell you this, my friends. This is absolutely fabulous. Um, see the big letters, etc. He will send you this, no charge. It's the basic ABCs of annuities. All right, and this covers everything that you can f imagine about annuities, the types of annuities, the fix, the fees, the, the annual, or can I lose money, are CDs similar uh, to annuities, will my cash flow fu fluctuate? Every question you have, you, the phone number's on the screen, 570-401-6008. Um, 
his uh, websites up there. May I interrupt you quick? Yeah. So I, it, whatever, depending on your situation, if they need it to be mailed, they could call my office, I'll mail it. If they have an email, I have it in a PDF. That's the simplest thing. Beautiful, yes. I'm not gonna bother them, I'm not gonna, it's free, it's, and it's something I put a lot of work into, it's easy to understand. Or come to the yeah, office. Okay, offices where? Uh, uh, but Greco Chiropractic Building, Greco Brokerage is, on, is in that 309 three. across from uh, Burger King. Call for directions, my friend. You know, I, 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 you've been on the show a number of times, all right? And sometimes um, um, people say, yeah, I want, I want to make that call, but I'm a little leery, and, and rightly so. I mean, yeah. they worked all their lives, okay? These are people who worked. They didn't look for handouts. Mm -hmm. You know, they had respect. They had a work ethic, mm -hmm. and, and we need more of those people these days, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me, you know, instead of living off the government, they were. So now... They're concerned. Absolutely. I don't want to just give it to someone. So um, the trust factor is important. I think you covered a lot of bases. Anything in closing you'd like to well, say? Well, I just, as I always tell you, people could come in. They don't have to feel pressured. I yeah. mean, you, you just like you, you go out and maybe want to sell some advertising. You don't get every single person. I don't get every I single should. person. I should. Well, I feel I should too. But yeah. sometimes they say, boy, if I had all the people I didn't get, Boy, life would be, I'd be, I'd be j j dancing on the hood of the car, but that's okay because that means maybe it didn't gel, maybe it wasn't for them. Yeah. Point is, I, somebody's welcome to come in for a free consult. Yeah. Well, it's always nice having you on the show, Blaze. Pleasure, Sam. Give I always best. enjoy it. I give my best to your lovely and wife. And your wife, too, Debbie. Uh, my friends, 24-7, uh, SSPTV.com, all of the information you want uh, about our shows, our neighborhood programs are there. Appreciate the fact that you've... Um, made our programming number one in their respective time slots. We'll see you next time.